Police officers laugh at an elderly woman, then realize who her son is. In a quaint village nestled amidst lush greenery and winding pathways, there lived a woman named Anya. She was affectionately known as Babushka Anya. The matriarch of the community, her home adorned with colorful blooms that seemed to dance in the sunlight. Anya's days were spent tending to her garden, a vibrant tapestry of roses, lilies, and daisies that bloomed in riotous hues. Her wrinkled hands, weathered by years of toil, cradled the delicate petals with a tenderness that spoke of a profound connection to the earth. But behind the gentle facade of the village's beloved elder lay a tale shrouded in mystery. Anya had a son a fact known to few, and even fewer were aware of his profession. He was a man who walked the path of justice, wearing the uniform of a police officer with pride. Yet this detail remained concealed within the folds of time and memory. The village itself exuded a sense of serenity, where laughter echoed through cobblestone streets and children played beneath the watchful eye of towering oak trees. Amongst the residents were a group of young, eager police officers, their laughter often ringing through the air as they patrolled the streets. However, in their youthful exuberance, the officers sometimes indulged in jests and playful banter. One day, while on patrol, they crossed paths with Babushka Anya. Her slightly stooped figure and the traditional shawl she draped around her shoulders drew their attention, sparking a series of ill-conceived jokes. Look at her! Shuffling around like she's carrying the weight of the whole village, chuckled one officer, nudging his companion. Yeah, probably got stories to tell. Old wives' tales, I bet, added another, laughing along. Their laughter, though harmless in intention, carried a weight of assumption that echoed through the cobblestone streets. Unbeknownst to them, their words created ripples in the fabric of the tightly knit community. Days passed and the village tranquility was shattered by an unforeseen event, a daring theft that left the community reeling. The local bakery was targeted, and valuable goods vanished under the veil of night, leaving behind a sense of unease and suspicion. The officers, faced with the challenge of solving the baffling crime, scoured the village for clues. Yet each lead seemed to dissipate like mist upon their fingertips. Frustration gnawed at them as the weight of responsibility settled on their shoulders. In a twist of fate, their investigation led them back to Babushka Anya's doorstep. Hesitant but driven by the urgency of their duty, they approached her with a mixture of trepidation and determination. Anya welcomed them into her humble abode, her eyes holding a wisdom that transcended the passage of time. As they explained the situation, Anya's gaze rested on a faded photograph on the mantelpiece, a young man in a police uniform, a smile of unbridled pride etched upon his face. My son, she murmured softly, her voice carrying the weight of both pride and sorrow. Realization dawned upon the officers as the pieces of the puzzle fell into place. The young man in the photograph was their mentor, the revered officer who had guided and shaped them, the very son of Babushka Anya. Shane washed over the officers as they comprehended the depth of their misjudgment. Their laughter, once carefree and thoughtless, now carried the burden of ignorance they had mocked the mother of their respected mentor, unaware of the profound connection that bound them together. Apologies spilled from their lips, sincere and laden with remorse. With newfound reverence, they listened as Anya shared snippets of her son's life, a life dedicated to upholding justice, a life intertwined with the very essence of their duty. Leaving her cottage, the officers were consumed by a desire to rectify their mistake and uphold the legacy of their mentor. They delved deeper into the investigation, reinvigorated by a sense of responsibility and a commitment to honor the bond they now realized they shared. In their relentless pursuit of truth, the officers pieced together clues and unearthed hidden trails that led them to the perpetrators. The culprits, who had thought themselves invisible in the shadows, were apprehended and brought to justice. As the handcuffs closed around the wrists of the thieves, a sense of closure swept through the village. But amidst the palpable relief, there lingered a profound lesson, a lesson that transcended the solving of a crime. The officers, now tempered by humility and the weight of their own assumptions, carried within them a newfound understanding. They recognized the depth of stories that lay hidden behind every wrinkled face, every seemingly innocuous detail. Babushka Anya, with her garden of vibrant blooms, became more than a revered figure. 
She embodied the embodiment of the interconnectedness between past and present, between assumptions and reality. From that day forward, the officers patrolled the streets with a different perspective. They no longer saw just faces. They saw stories waiting to be heard, histories waiting to be acknowledged. And in doing so, they honored not just their mentor's legacy, but the wisdom that Babushka Anya had imparted upon them. A lesson in empathy, humility, and the intricate threads that bind us all in the tapestry of life. The tale of Babushka Anya and the young police officers resonates with the timeless moral lesson that judgments based on appearances can often blind us to the depth and truth of an individual's story. It teaches us the profound importance of empathy, humility, and the value of looking beyond superficial perceptions. Anya, known as Babushka Anya, represented the epitome of a wise elder, a figure whose outer appearance belied the richness of her life's experiences. Her dedication to tending her vibrant garden mirrored the care and attention she gave to nurturing the stories hidden within her own life. The youthful exuberance of the officers led them to engage in light-hearted banter and jests. Unaware of the impact their words carried, their laughter, though seemingly innocent, created ripples of misunderstanding and assumptions that clouded their perception of Babushka Anya. When faced with the challenge of solving a perplexing crime, the officers found themselves retracing their steps to Babushka Anya's door, seeking answers. It was here, amidst the photographs and the quiet wisdom in Anya's eyes, that the officers discovered the truth, that the object of their jests and mockery was, in fact, the mother of their respected mentor, a revered police officer. The realization struck the officers with a wave of humility and remorse. Their initial assumptions had blinded them to the intricate connections that tied them together. Their laughter, once carefree and thoughtless, now carried the weight of ignorance and misunderstanding. Apologies, sincere and earnest, became a bridge between their misconceptions and the profound truth that had been obscured. Anya's revelation about her son sparked a transformation within the officers, igniting a renewed commitment to honor the legacy of their mentor and the values he upheld. Their journey to solve the crime became more than just a professional duty. It became a personal quest to rectify their misjudgments. Through their unwavering dedication, they uncovered the truth and brought justice to the perpetrators. The moral that emerges from this tale is a poignant reminder of the power of empathy and the dangers of snap judgments. It urges us to look beyond the surface, beyond the wrinkles, the garments, and the outward appearances, to truly see the stories and experiences that shape individuals. Moreover, it underscores the significance of humility and self-reflection. The officer's journey from initial ignorance to profound understanding symbolizes the transformative potential of acknowledging one's mistakes, seeking understanding, and fostering empathy. Ultimately, the story of Babushka Anya and the officer serves as a beacon, guiding us to approach others with kindness, understanding, and an open heart. It teaches us that behind every person lies a unique narrative, a story waiting to be heard and understood. And in embracing this perspective, we honor not only the individuals themselves, but the interconnectedness that binds us all in the fabric of humanity. As we bring this tale to a close, I want to extend a heartfelt thank you. Your support and engagement make this storytelling journey truly extraordinary. Until our next adventure unfolds, Remember to dream big, embrace the unknown, and I'll be eagerly awaiting your presence in the next chapter.